Hello my dear students. Today we are going to study about textiles. Generally my students become very scared when they are told to do a little bit of theory. This is not theoretical part of your lesson. This is definitely the vocational course of your block printing. But why I want to give little bit of introduction and classification of textiles is because if you will be knowing what are textiles it will become extremely easy for you to do the block printing or the screen printing or various dyeing of the fibers or fabrics or even do stitching. Today we will start our lesson by MTP 101 Unit 1 Introduction and Classification of Textiles Objectives To understand textiles Different types of textiles Historical background First, the cloth was most probably made from categories but at present we are only going to have a bird's eye view of our textiles. Natural fibers are obtained from nature and classified as vegetable, animal and mineral fibers. Vegetable fibers are composed of cellulose found in cell walls of plants. Animal fibers are composed of proteins produced by animals or insects. Mineral fiber are mined from certain types of rock used for making cement pipes, ceiling tiles, insulation for fire, who have a room insulated so that the heat does not come in and we can have air conditioning. Man-made fibers can be divided into two categories that is cellulosic fibers and non-cellulosic fibers. Natural cellulose taken from cotton linters and wood pulp processed chemically and changed in form into fiber of various lengths are known as man-made cellulosic fibers. Non-cellulosic polymer synthetic fibers. Scientists imitated properties of natural fibers by creating the polymers in laboratories. They combined the carbon, oxygen, hydrogen and other simple chemical elements into large complex molecule structures 
that are made into fibers. Self-check questions. What are natural fibers? This is your second self-check question. What are man-made fibers? Please, I would request all of you to discuss amongst yourself. Your mentor could help you with the answer if you are not able to answer it. After you have answered this question, I would like that you would do a little bit of activity. Of course, not now. I would want you people to collect five different samples of textile fabrics when you go home today and please bring them documented tomorrow. Derived from plants, we get the cotton fiber which is extracted from seed pods. If you look at the seed pod fiber from a microscope, the structure which you are going to see is the elongated cell, flat twisted ribbon with a white inner halo lumen. Properties of cotton fabric are, it's extremely cool to wear, if it's hot, if we wear it, we will, the sweat is going to be absorbed and we will not be uncomfortable. Cotton can withstand extremely high temperature and it can take the dyes very well. Cotton fibers are somewhat, uh, they are strong when they are wet than they are when they are dry. And generally, a lot of times, to give it a further strength to it, we can blend them using the polyester, nylon, wool, silk or even jute fibers to one, to bring the cost down and second, to have the blended fabrics. Jute. Jute is long, shiny vegetable fiber extracted from stem part of plant, generally found in south of India. It is the cheapest plant fiber and is used for making cloth, for sacks, curtains. Also, we can see the carpets which are made by jute or the rugs. Fibers extracted from animals. You must have wondered why the sheep in winters are all covered with a hairy substance. Well, that is one to protect the sheep and secondly we use their protection in summers by shearing away their protective coat which is known as the wool. What we get out of it are the beautiful sweaters or the blankets or the rugs, carpets, mufflers, shawls, a lot of things. Silk. Silk is obtained from the silk worm. The lava feeds on the mulberry leaves. And while it feeds on the mulberry leaves, it grows and it extracts a kind of a liquid which turns around and spins on its own body. This is the longest fiber we can get. If you look at these fibers, they are lustrous, they are smooth, lightweight, extremely strong and elastic. These fibers, when the silk worms 
have spun across their bodies are ready to break out they are put into the warm water where the worm dies and then the fibers are extracted from the cocoons and spun to make the beautiful sarees or the shirts or the dress material which i'm sure while you people will be doing block printing would try out first of course you will try out the cotton then maybe silk maybe some jute and etc artificial fibers they are obtained from chemical compounds widely used are nylon and polyester properties of artificial fibers are they are flexible lightweight resistant extremely bad at absorbing our sweat so we feel extremely hot if we wear it in summers but they are wrinkle free and they have affinity for dyes but not natural dyes one reason why the people use it is they are produced chemically and the cost of it is extremely low compared to the cost of the natural fibers which are procured from natural sources so obviously there is a limit to it summing up today i briefly described about the use of various textiles classification of textiles to their origin was then given to you people a brief description of natural and artificial textiles was also included i'm sure you people have all answered the two questions which are asked from you but anyway i'll give you the answers first the question was on natural fibers the answer natural fibers that occur in nature can be classified as vegetable animals and minerals vegetable fi- fibers found in various parts of plants it is composed of cellulose found in the cell wall of the plants the second question was on what are man made fibers well my dear students man made fibers are derived from various sources for instance natural cellulose has been taken from cotton linters or wood pulp they are processed chemically and changed in form and several other characteristics into fibers of various lengths i'm quite sure you all have enjoyed and after going through this lesson you have had somewhat idea of what is natural fibers and what are man made fibers thank you and take care